Okay, all right. Thank you, Chairman Hall. As always, it's a pleasure to be uh, with you in Rockingham County. Um, while we're virtual, it seems like I've spent enough time in Rockingham County in the last uh, um, four years that uh, it's like going home in some ways. I want to give a special thanks to people I've, I work with and have gotten to know well. Um, one is Senator Berger, who's a real friend and ally in economic development not only in Rockingham County, but across the state. And then Lee Cochran, who I think is a real champion for you, uh, for you, for you locally. And I want to bring you greetings from my boss, uh, Senator, uh, Governor Roy Cooper. And so um, in the last four years, Rockingham County has become a popular destination for international companies from around the world. It's amazing how globalization in the world has become much smaller than it was when Rockingham County emerged as a textile and uh, manufacturer and early part of last century. And, you know, you even had a governor that came from there, Luther Hodges, who came from Eden and was responsible for growing the Research Triangle Park, which has now the largest per capita concentration of PhDs in the world. Uh, but some of the companies that have come there in the last four years that I have been involved with, which are All Bad from Israel, Sanritsu from Japan, Gildan from Canada, Ontex from Belgium, and Nestle Perina, which is a Swiss company. But today, Italy joins the distinguished list of companies that are in Rockingham County. I'm pleased to announce that Farmina Pet Food USA will establish its first North American operations hub in Rockingham County. Thank you, Farmina. A family-owned operated company founded in Italy in 1965 will create 129 jobs in the city of Reesville over the next five years. Farmina selection of Rockingham County brings with it a $28.5 million investment and a company that has a global vision that picked Rockingham County out from anywhere in the world to locate. You know, Farmina is a knowledge-based enterprise. Manufacturing is no longer just based on, on horsepower, it's based on gigabits and megabytes even if it is a pet food manufacturer. Um, their 28.5 million capital investment will not go unnoticed and 129 jobs. They have an annual payroll, an annual payroll that will flow through the county of $6 million. And the impact on the gross domestic product will be 857 million in North Carolina over the next 12 years and more than 27 million in state revenues over the next 12 years. The state of North Carolina is proud to have led this. Um, just a few minutes ago, the Economic Investment Committee approved a JDIG of $1.83 million for the company, which is a performance-based grant based on the jobs that you were creating. Um, companies like Farmina consider location, many location options, and you've met with a lot of organizations from all over the world. Recruiting high quality companies takes a team effort. And once again, I wanna thank the General Assembly and Senator Phil Berger, uh, the mayor, the county commissioners. You county commissioners have to be responsible for a lot of the infrastructure. It's important to be here many years before companies come. The Economic Development Partnership with Nate Groover, um, City of Reedsville, Rockingham County Center for Economic Development and Duke Energy. We appreciate the important role that all these organizations have played. Usually for announcements like this, we, prevent com we present company officials a gift, but given the constraints of what we have today, obviously I can't hand you a gift personally. But, but we will be sending Farmina a decorative China plate, a gold leaf plate, complete with a North Carolina state seal that has the, the Latin for it is to be rather than to seem, which I think fits the company of Farmina very appropriately. You know, pets have never been more popular than they are right now in the world. Just this weekend, CNBC reported that owning a large, owing to a large part of the pandemic, U.S. consumers will spend nearly $99 billion this year on their pets. 
from veterinary care to nu nutritious food products with, from companies like Farmina. Farmina arrives at an opportune time. We thank you for becoming part of North Carolina and we look forward to working with you. And at this time, I'd like to turn the podium over to Angelo Russo, the CEO and owner of Farmina Pet Food Holding for a few remarks. Thank you. Thank you, Secretary. And I am really uh, happy to have the chance uh, to uh, have uh, uh, this investment done in North Carolina. And I really thank you, the state of North Carolina and uh, the uh, Rockingham County and uh, the city of Redsville for the beautiful uh, 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 until now deal that we had. And for sure, we will have a great cooperation from our side, we are proud to bring in the USA our Italian experience about the food in general and about pet food, uh, where uh, we uh, would like to, uh, uh, in the very beginning, uh, bring the ingredients from Italy, but uh, soon after develop the uh, same uh, uh, standard quality ingredients with the local providers. Uh, and our uh, mission there is to provide best nutrition for all pet parents uh, that uh, are uh, so lovely engaged with uh, their pets uh, and that they would like to offer uh, the best nutrition ever. And our mission is to satisfy this, uh, their requirement. For that, for us, it's very important uh, to constantly develop local providers that can match the best uh, more pure naturally ingredients in order that uh, we can all together uh, offer more quality and, and added more uh, value to our companies, enterprises in all territory. That is what we are uh, going to do. Uh, we really would like uh, to uh, grow our company in USA, in North Carolina, in, in uh, uh, and uh, all together uh, be very satisfied to promote even uh, further investments in the future. So thank you so much for your cooperation. Angelo, I do have the plate here. If it, if it shows up on the screen, I'm not sure. Yes, nice. Thank you. Thank you. That is nice to give because for uh, this uh, Christmas, you see? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, today, today is, uh, is holidays in Italy because there is uh, some religious Catholic uh, uh, celebration. Uh, so that's why I am uh, comfortably at home with my family. And uh, we are all here very proud and very happy to have this kind of celebration. And uh, we are very happy that uh, we can have this deal together. And this is, uh, is an anticipation about uh, Christmas gift. So thank you. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Thanks. I think that at this point, I would like to uh, pass uh, the word to Mr. Loris. Uh, he was a really incredible guy that helped Farmina USA to grow and uh, to have a fair success importing uh, and distributing uh, the, our pet food uh, uh, all around USA, Canada, uh, with uh, uh, multiple uh, distributors. Uh, and uh, this uh, great job done by him, in cooperation with the Italy uh, factory, uh, bring us uh, to the side to invest in local facility. Uh, and uh, then we decide uh, to invest uh, in your beautiful uh, uh, state, county, and uh, city. So uh, please, Loris, I mm, would like that you say some nice words. Thank, thank you. you, Angelo. I would like to, uh, first of all, thank Angelo Russo and the Russo family for believing in this uh, uh, beautiful project and journey for all of us. I have many people to thank as well on behalf of the company, on behalf of Armin and Angelo and myself, um, absolutely starting with uh, uh, the North Carolina Economic Development, uh, who made this project possible, the North Carolina Department of Commerce, including Secretary Copeland and his team. Thank you very much, Secretary Copeland. Um, 
the uh, Economic Development Partnership of North Carolina with Nate Groover, uh, the Rockingham County, Lee Cochran, Carrie Taylor, the Rockingham County Board of Commissioners and Chairman Hall, uh, the city of Reedsville, of course, uh, Jeff Gatska and the Reedsville City Council and Mayor Dunker, and uh, Duke Energy with uh, John Gate precisely. Uh, I would also like to thank uh, Senator Berger for being with us today. Thank you, Senator. And a special thanks to the North Carolina General Assembly for the work in making North Carolina a business-friendly state for companies like ours and making projects like this one possible. Uh, as a family owned and operated business, we believe that Reesville is the perfect fit for our values and quality and continuous innovation from the workforce to the production technologies. Uh, as uh, Angelo had a chance to really explain, uh, uh, his vision, our vision is to be a pet nutrition company, uh, a company that provides uh, not only the best quality ingredients, uh, uh, nutritional solution for our pets uh, all over the world, especially now in North America, but also uh, we provide services to help pet parents become better at uh, uh, keeping uh, uh, the life of their pets uh, as long as possible and their health uh, as, uh, as, as good as possible. So we're all in it together. We look forward to get started with this wonderful project and uh, uh, extend our Farmina family, family to uh, the city um, of uh, Reedsville and to the North Carolina in general. So thank you very much. Thank you everyone for being uh, as, with us today and uh, for celebrating this uh, very important milestone for Farmina. I think at this point we're playing a video. Probably we can't hear the audio, so I can uh, maybe comment. Uh, this is the original picture of uh, uh, Nola, Naples, uh, Italy in 1965, obviously over 50 years ago. With that, I would like to welcome um, Mayor Jay Doniker from the city of Reedsville. Thank you, Judy. First, welcome Farmina to Reedsville and Rockingham County. The city of Reedsville and our city council are very excited that Farmina has decided to locate their first North American manufacturing plant here in Reedsville. As a veterinarian, we have all seen as in our profession a larger increase in attention to their family pets. As Angela said earlier, it's not a pet, it's a member of the family. Um, a friend of mine says, what dogs are, they're just children that never grow up. And so as a dog parent, we all wanna provide them the best nutrition possible. And that's exactly where Farmita 
is going to enter into the market here in North America. And I'm excited as a veterinarian and also as a mayor that you will be entering the North American market from Reedsville. I also want to thank Secretary Copeland and all your ABLE staff for making this happen, along with our economic development departments at our county level and at our city level. Without you all working together, this would have never happened at all. So with that saying, I'd now like to turn the microphone or the podium or the video screen over to our Senate Pro Tem leader, Senator Berger. There we go. Technology always trips me up, uh, trying to make sure that uh, that that uh, the uh, the audio is available. Well, you know, anytime something like this uh, occurs, uh, th there are so many people that uh, were involved that it's impossible to uh, recognize everyone. But uh, I'm, I'm going to take a shot at recognizing a few people that uh, I, I think uh, have uh, have been extremely important. First of all, uh, I want to thank uh, Secretary Copeland for uh, his continued interest in Rockingham County and uh, the efforts that uh, he has made to, uh, to help us here in Rockingham County. Uh, I also want to say a special thank you to uh, the uh, county commissioners here uh, who have, uh, have, have just done a tremendous job of uh, pointing out uh, the, uh, the great value to uh, uh, industry, uh, to uh, individuals of, uh, of living in a place uh, like Rockingham County and uh, finding Rockingham County as a place to, uh, to grow your business. Um, also, a tip of the hat to uh, the city of Reedsville, which uh, has a tremendous team uh, working on not only this, but, uh, but other areas uh, to make Reedsville a, uh, a top-notch place for, for people to live. Uh, and uh, and I, I wouldn't be doing what I need to do without recognizing the members of the North Carolina General Assembly, who, uh, as uh, has been alluded to, have uh, done a tremendous job making North Carolina as a whole uh, a great place for uh, for folks to uh, to want to locate and for people to uh, want to uh, to have their businesses uh, located so that they can grow and prosper. Uh, and the people of North Carolina and the people of Rockingham County for uh, the uh, the work ethic uh, and uh, the fact that uh, a trained, available, uh, strong workforce uh, is available for companies like Farmina. Uh, and last, uh, I want to thank Farmina for uh, for looking at uh, at Rockingham County uh, and looking at Reedsville uh, and making this decision, which uh, is not only a good decision uh, for us uh, here in North Carolina, uh, but I believe is a tremendous decision for Farmina uh, and uh, is a uh, j just a stepping point, or at least the next step in Farmina becoming uh, an, an even greater participant uh, in the pet food industry. Uh, you know, I've done a little bit of reading uh, about uh, Farmina and uh, in the background, and uh, I am I'm just extremely impressed. And Jay, I know you've got to be as a uh, uh, as a veterinarian uh, impressed with uh, the care uh, that Farmina takes in uh, in making sure that its products are uh, top notch, first rate for uh, for people's pets. Because uh, nowadays, people. Uh, and their pets have become extremely important. Uh, I've got one other thing I would like to do. Uh, my dog, Obi, is here with me, and uh, he, he generally is not very camera shy, but I'm going to try to get him up here so that, uh, so that y'all can see him. Obi, come on up here. Folks want to see you. Come on. Come on. Come on up. No, no. <laughs> so, uh, he's not cooperating. I'll, I'll end up having to move the camera. So uh, this is Obi. Uh, Obi is, uh, as has been uh, indicated by others, uh, he has uh, quickly become uh, a member of our family. Our children are all grown, uh, so we now have a four-legged child, and, uh, and certainly uh, I think there are a lot of families uh, in, uh, in, in the world, all around the world, who, uh, uh, who have come to uh, realize the importance of, uh, of pets and how they add to your quality of life. So. Uh, congratulations, Farmina. Uh, congratulations to Reedsville and Rockingham County. Uh, and congratulations to the state of North Carolina. I think this is a great win for all of us. Thank you so much, Senator Berger. Um, I want to introduce now the Director of Economic Development for the City of Reedsville, Jeff Garska. 
Well, good afternoon. Good morning. Uh, thank you, Senator Berger, for your participation here, your leadership, and uh, for being here with us today and your comments. Uh, I would mention quickly, we also had uh, State Representative Gary Carter, who represents our district, uh, had a last minute conflict and sends his regrets, but also wanted to pass along his thank you and congratulations and warm welcome to Reedsville and Rockingham County. And uh, hopefully you'll get a chance to meet him as well at some point. Uh, I think my colleagues in economic development would agree this is probably the most unique recruitment project we've ever faced. We did start this, ver the first visit we had as we talked earlier was in early March before things kind of went haywire and we actually were out there having donuts and shaking hands. Um, then we had a chance to visit again safely uh, later on in the year in the middle of the pandemic. And, uh, you know, th big thank you to everybody who, who did this in person virtually. We tried to keep it safe. Uh, thank you to Parker Poe Consulting for leading this project through difficult times. They were a great partner for all of us to work with uh, and the other partners who have been mentioned. Um, you know, when we talk about the top site selection factors, uh, labor force is always one. But we talked a lot about our Interstate 785, uh, which is going to be uh, a project coming down the road. And there's two of the factors that, uh, that we talked a lot about during our site selection process. Um, really, at the end of the day, in my ex almost 20 years of experience in this business, decisions like this really come down to the gut and the heart. Um, we, were, we were one of three finalists in one of three states. And I'm certain that our competition was very, very uh, uh, in tune with what this company could bring to their communities. Um, and I think as Loris mentioned, it, is, uh, it does come down to where you feel like you are gonna be the most successful from a culture standpoint. And other companies have mentioned that about Reedsville and Rockingham County. They're family oriented businesses, uh, large and small. And our family tight knit culture here in the community uh, was just a good fit. And we, we certainly hope that is uh, part of your decision process. Um, I'll tie it personally real quick. We talked before our meeting, uh, my great grandfather came to the US from Palermo, Sicily in about 1900. He was uh, 13 years old and one of those that literally had nothing but the shirt on his back. Uh, he settled in the US, started a family, was a very successful business person uh, early on. And uh, my grandfather was uh, uh, probably the, my biggest influence in my life um, taught me how to grow vegetables, how to use them. Uh, he was a, a, a very famous chef in the area of Pittsburgh, uh, but also taught me more than anything about family and the Italian culture, which I grew up in. And I think that's been mentioned here as, as your company and also your, your culture as, as a whole. Uh, and when you talk about being a chef, uh, this is some gourmet food, um, this using ingredients like wild boar and uh, natural grains and pomegranate. Uh, so as a pet owner myself, uh, or as a pet parent, I suppose, as we've called it, um, this is the kind of uh, product that we're so excited to have being manufactured here. Um, so as I mentioned, it comes down to heart uh, at the end of the day to make a decision. So uh, let me just leave you with uh, Grazie Parmina Benevuti alla Squadra Riesville. So for those of you who don't speak Italian like me, uh, thank you, Farmina, and welcome to Team Reedsville. Um, I'll pass it along to Lee Cockrum, uh, my colleague at the uh, Rockingham County Economic Development Small Business and Tourism Office, to close us out. Thank you again. Thank you, Jeff, and thanks, everyone. Um, you know, I think everyone has kind of touched on what we would like to say or what I would say, but uh, I think what the gist of this is is that economic development doesn't happen in a vacuum, and it doesn't happen in a silo. Uh, it truly takes team um, partnerships to bring announcements like uh, Farmina's today to come to fruition. So, you know, I do want to thank, as always, Secretary Copeland and his office and the team that you have assembled to work with us on a daily basis. I know at times, I think some of your staff may see my phone number pop up on text and want to hide the phone, but they do respond and I do really appreciate that. Um, and we're, we're you know, accomplishing a lot together. So thank you for your continued support and partnerships. Um, to the Economic Development Partnership of North Carolina with Nate Gruber and Colin Kaiser, who I think the international team actually helped uh, develop this relationship um, with Farmina. Thank you guys for all that you do. Um, you're a great partner with us and everything economic development in Rockingham County. Um, and, and thank you to John Guy, I know that's been mentioned before, but um, Duke Energy is such a, a great partner of ours and a variety of different um, uh, announcements that we have. In this project, um, they were generous to 
uh, award a Carolina Investment Fund grant. So we really appreciate that to help with uh, some of the site work needs that uh, the site will need. And to Jeff's point earlier, um, you know, we we knew that when the, the project com came to visit us, our site it wasn't shovel ready, uh, and we were going to need to pull in some some partners, if you will, to figure out how we could help the site or the company overcome some site work. So thank you to Duke for for helping us with that. Um, again, to County Manager Lance Metzler, Commissioner um, Hall, Chairman now, uh, newly elected, uh, and all of our uh, commissioners in Rockingham County, thank you. Thank you to our um, nonprofit arm. We have a group called the Citizens for Economic Development. Um, that group actually holds the deed to the Reedsville Industrial Park as well as other um, industrial parks that we own jointly with um, different municipalities throughout Rockingham County. So just thank you uh, to that group for working with us on this land transaction that we will be um, executing in the coming days. Uh, we really appreciate your continued support. And um, to Carrie Taylor Penix, who is, you know, she's She's a rock star. She's in our office. Uh, she's the one that fills out all of the RFIs, makes sure that you know companies are getting accurate information from day one, so they know uh, what you know what to expect when they come to our communities. Uh, so we really appreciate all of her work. Uh, and to Jeff Garska, um, uh, City Manager Mitchell, and Mayor Doniker, and the rest of the, the Reedsville Council and staff, thank you for your continued you know partnership and support, and hope that we can have more of these in the future. Um, I too would be remiss if I did not acknowledge Morgan Craps with Parker Poe Consulting uh, for leading the site selection um, process for Farmina. Um, I had never met Morgan before until March the 6th either. Uh, and um, you know, I think I'll, I will miss our conversations and text messages and just really appreciate her answering all of our questions just so we were able to make sure that um, we were submitting to the company accurate information because this is such a big you know, decision. Um, so we really appreciate her patience and just going back and forth to make sure that we were providing for Farmina what they needed to, to make the right decision, of which they did. Um, and uh, finally, a huge sincere thank you to Farmina. Um, Angelo uh, Russo, um, Fr Francesco Russo, who actually came to the visit, and Loris, thank you for taking the chance to visit us on March the 6th. Um, you know, I don't know, but these are kind of weird moments, like Jeff said earlier. Um, from the moment we met, I kind of had that feeling that we would be your partner. Um, it's very rare that I, you know, go on our first visit with a company and think, okay, I think they're going to land and feel kind of confident. But it was just something about that day that made us all feel very comfortable with each other. Um, and I don't know if you remember, but I, as we were all getting ready to leave, I asked that uh, we take a picture at the site so that you could remember um, that this was your future home and that we would look back on this picture one day and go, you know, this was what the site looked like prior to you landing here. So uh, I think we'll get that framed for you uh, so you can always have a, a memory of, of what that was. So uh, we all look good before COVID. Um, <laughs> so, so, um, but no, we, we honestly thank you so much for trusting in us to be your partners um, here in Rockingham County. We are so excited in Reedsville. We're so excited to have you. Um, and as a token of our appreciation, we would like to give you a Rockingham County flag that we will say for you um, that you can hang over at your new facility just to remember that we're always partners in this. And we know that there's a lot of work. This is the fun time and there's a lot of work to be done to make sure and ensure your success long term. But we are here for you. We will be your partners and uh, we're looking forward to it. So thank you again. And thanks, everybody, for your participation and, and obviously for Senator Berger. You're always such a, um, a staple for us, and we appreciate knowing that we can pick up the phone and call you in your office for help too. So um, we're just a, a really blessed county in North Carolina and um, look forward to, to seeing Farmina grow and, and move on. Very excited. Um, I think now I'm supposed to turn it over to Judy um, for maybe some media question and answers. I think the company is gonna leave us um, and um, Secretary Copeland had to. But again, thank you all for coming and thank you, Farmina. Really, really look forward to our partnership down the road.